What's up guys, my name is JDCook5 and welcome back to another player review. Today we have the 89 rated Team of the Seasons Moments, Justin Bijlow. So going to run you through these stats, show you some clips and then we're going to talk about him afterwards. He has 91 diving, 86 handling, 88 kicking, 90 reflexes, 75 speed and 87 positioning. A little bit of a different video today as he is a goalkeeper so we have no alternative position and as you can see there's no real detailed stats to go into. He also does have the player trait of coming for crosses and he shows injury prone which is quite realistic due to the injuries he has in real life. So we're going to show you these clips and then we're going to talk about him afterwards. After showing you the clips, we're going to talk about a few things I did and didn't like about this particular card. So the pros that I found were speed, throwing, kicking and reflexes. 75 speed is quite high on a goalkeeper, you normally find they're in the 50s. You can definitely tell when he was moving side to side in goal how quick he was. In terms of the throwing sides, they were very good. Nice distribution when throwing out from the box. He was always able to reach the winger or kind of near to my strikers. In terms of the kicking, that was quite impressive also. If you have quite high strikers, it's always beneficial being able to hit it up to them and then play it off to your other players. In terms of the reflexes, that was probably one of the best parts of his game. You can really see how effective that is when in-game. Something that you probably wouldn't look at as much, but it's definitely a good point in his game. The cons that I found were handling, diving and positioning. In all honesty, there were points in this game where I did find he was very clumsy. Times where he would basically be picking up the ball or a shot would be hit at him and he just wasn't catching it. He would kind of palm it off to the defenders or unfortunately he would palm it off to the opposing strikers. In terms of the diving side of his game, even though he displays the 91 diving stat, I do feel like it was very poor. There were times where he was even diving the opposite way, or there were times that he would kind of exaggerate the dive and could completely miss the ball. The last thing was his positioning. If his positioning was much better, then this card would be 10 times better for sure. Many times where easy goals were conceded where he just wasn't the right side of the goal. Obviously, you can do it manually, but in terms of the actual goalkeeper itself, I just didn't feel like it's the best. If you're looking at acquiring this card, he's currently on one of the new SBCs. You're looking at about 38,000 coins to be able to complete. There are much better goalkeepers that are out there for that kind of coins, and to be honest, I would stay away from this sort of card. In terms of chemistry style, I chose the wall. I had to experiment because I didn't get on with the glove chemistry style. Wall seemed to make him a bit more agile and be able to kind of make balls. So I hope you enjoy the video. Please like and subscribe for more content just like this one. And don't forget to hit the notification button for when I do release another video. Cheers. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.